Uncle Joy Sweaters Me at the Opera by Mr. Cal Stewart. <laughs> well, she, when I left home, come down to New York, I said to Mother, now, Mother, when I get down to New York City, I'm going to see a regular first-class theater. Well, we never had many theater doings down our way. Well, there was a theater troupe come to our town last summer, and we would have let them have the opera house to show in, only it was summertime, and opera house was full of hay, and we couldn't very well let them have it. <laughs> well, I got into one of your theaters here and got stopped down getting ready to look at it, and little boy handed me a piece of paper what told all about the theater doings, and I got to looking at that, and I noticed on it where it said there was five years took place between second part and the third part, and I know darn well I wouldn't have time to wait and see the third part. <laughs> well, I didn't get to see much. I guess all I got to see was a big black hat with about 150 feathers on it and 200 yards of ribbon. Well, I guess I seen a selfie on the stage once. <laughs> well, them theater doings just put me in mind of something. What happened down home on the last day of school, you see, the school teacher got all the big girls and all the big boys, and the boys read essays, and the girls recited poetry. I remember one of the Skinner girls recited a piece that suited me first grade. Went something like this. How nice to hear the bumblebee when you go out of fishing. But if you happen to set down on him, he'll spile your disposition. <laughs> I like that. There was something to sort of touching about it. Then the school teacher got all the big girls in astronomy class and dressed them up to represent different kind of planets. Had one gal to represent the sun, another one to represent the moon, another one to represent Mars, and another one to represent Jupiter, and everything was a getting along first rate. Jim Lawson allowed he could make an improvement on it. And he went out and got a colored girl, and he wanted to stutter between the sun and the moon and make an eclipse. <laughs> he just busted up the whole guy's darn doings. <laughs>